The management of Australia's ever-growing household waste is a huge and complex issue. Ever-rising costs and environmental pressures mean councils are looking closely at ways to more effectively deal with their waste. Back in 1996, Port Stephens Council decided to tackle this issue proactively and brought the first advanced resource recovery technology of its kind to Australia. As a result, since 1999, all Port Stephens residents' general waste has been processed through this composting technology, which is owned and operated by CETA Australia. After collection, the contents of household bins are taken to the Advanced Resource Recovery Centre to be processed. The waste is tipped directly onto the tipping floor, which is an enclosed area to help reduce odours. A rough sorting of the materials occurs here, and large bulky waste and hazardous materials, such as mattresses, car batteries and hoses, are removed. The waste is then placed on a bouncing conveyor belt, where gravity assists to remove more unsuitable wastes. After sorting, the waste is fed into two large digesters. The digesters are long vessels 60 metres in length and 4 metres in diameter, which turn continuously to circulate air. The waste will remain inside the digesters for 72 hours at a temperature of around 55 degrees. Organic materials such as food scraps, garden clippings, paper and cardboard are mixed together inside and begin to break down quickly. This process is known as aerobic composting. After three days inside the digesters, the raw compost is removed and the inorganic waste is separated via a screen. The inorganic waste, such as plastic bags, is sent to the nearby landfill site. As this waste is inert, the production of methane gas and leachate at the landfill site is minimal. Meanwhile, metal is recovered for recycling by the use of a magnet. Approximately 180 tonnes of recyclable metal is recovered annually through this process. To help minimise odours from the plant, the air is passed through two biofilters located on site. This biofilter is a large contained area filled with wood chip. The air is emitted at the bottom of these biofilters and as it rises, odours are removed from the air by bacteria on the wood chip. The biofilters are monitored regularly and every two years the wood chip is swapped over. After all the inorganic waste is removed, the three-day-old compost is then deposited onto the aeration floor for a further 21 days. During this time, the composting process continues as the material is kept moist and is turned regularly to aerate it. As you can see, this compost has changed dramatically from the household waste we saw on the tipping room floor only 72 hours earlier. After 21 days in this warm, moist environment, the mature compost is then put through two additional screens to remove any small pieces of glass or plastic that were not removed previously. The final product, which is rich in nutrients, has many potential uses. Port Stephens compost is used specifically for mine site rehabilitations and roadside projects in the Hunter Valley. The impact of this resource recovery technology is profound. No longer do we see millions of tonnes of waste taking up huge tracts of land across the Port Stephens Council area. Instead, the plant processes more than 40,000 tonnes annually, turning our region's unwanted waste into a valuable natural resource. With the help of a two-bin curbside collection service, over 50% of Port Stephens domestic waste is recycled and diverted from landfill. Previous landfill sites in the local area have now been converted to valuable sporting and community facilities. This sophisticated composting technology delivers not only great resource recovery, but also real value for money to the community. <laughs>